Sometimes, all it takes is a bit of color to make you see the city you live in with new eyes. We tend to lose ourselves in the mundane, repeating trusted patterns to navigate through the complex capillaries of concrete all around us. Poetic Kinetics is a design studio that infuses life into cities all around the world by transforming neglected public spaces with larger-than-life sculptures that float in the air. Murmuration is the, the starlings that fly in big clouds or the fish that swim in schools where... That's Patrick Schoen. He's the co-founder of Poetic Kinetics. The entire body of animals will shift in one direction. That whole sort of visual, visual thing was what inspired me to kind of go into this direction. I met up with Patrick in London while he and Cynthia were scouting European cities for the next big project. You know, I have lots of dreams. We'd love to, to do something, you know, really big somewhere. Uh, you know, we have sort of the ability to do square miles of, st of the stuff, but uh, we're working in Berlin, we're working in a, a number of places in the States. What's really fun is that they're all site specific and playing with the actual location to, to sort of maximize the motion and to, to give people an intimate experience at the same time is really kind of what it's about. That's where the artistry lives. Patrick and his partner Cynthia created Poetic Kinetics as an experimental art installation collective that combines technology and design in an attempt to mimic and mirror nature's unpredictable beauty onto the empty stage of big cities. Before his quest to conquer and reimagine urban centers, Patrick's eyes were turned to Hollywood. I've always had a, a three-dimensional spatial mind, but I, I got a lot of my training doing animatronics for film and television, making creatures and robots and dinosaurs and stuff. I worked on Jurassic Park, making uh, the, the raptor suits and, and puppets. Uh, so, so using that same technology is always sort of like, you'd put animatronics instead of puppet, we started scaling up and using existing heavy equipment to, as our sort of substructure. So when you look at it, it's, it's isolated and not connected to the actual structure that's supporting it. No Poetic Kinetics installation is the same as the one before it, just like no two cities are identical. There's the reflection rising, a 16,000 square feet rainbow wave billowing brightly over the Scottsdale waterfront in Arizona, and the new prayer flag at the Kraftwerk building in Berlin. One of the most impressive recent installations was a 32,000 square feet phoenix called Firebird Descent. In uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. It's in this old military property that was given back to the city and they've made this beautiful park and there's a sort of a, a lake in the middle. Patrick and Cynthia traveled the world along with their team in search of their next canvas, the next opportunity to blur the lines between reality and fantasy and capture the imagination of the little anticipating city dwellers.